I think the work we make would be impossible to make alone. Without one another helping each other and propping each other up, it wouldn't exist. As our work has gone on our journey, our friendship has gone on a journey, and that goes together. And I think we've grown up together, you know? We met in a tiny town called Vipital, and years later when I moved to London, I looked Oli up, it was the only telephone number I had. I think that what drives us both is a kind of crazy sense of curiosity. When we move into a new space, our impulse is to make it white. And the reason is that whatever we bring into that space, we want to be able to see it clearly without any distraction. I think our best ideas come when we're having a good time, when there's kind of a fluidity between us and there's an open and easy exchange. All our work is the result of two people, so it's owned by a third person, this fictional entity, this wild, uncontrollable, and subversive character. We both find that very liberating to be able to inhabit that fictional persona. Somehow we have some kind of intuition, because inevitably as an artist, when you're engaged in a project, you lose faith at some point. And at that particular moment, it seems that Ollie steps in and stokes the fire, you know, props it up, and vice versa. He's helped me to understand my strengths, and I'm very grateful for that. I'm also grateful for the last 20 years of working, which has been such fun. And that's a result of two friends sitting together in a room and playing. <laughs> <laughs>